When a child is waiting to be reunited with family and needs a home away from home, caring people throughout Connecticut rise to the challenge. Giving children a safe, loving space without judgment, a sense of stability, hope, and a feeling that everything will be okay. Caring for our children can be a challenge, especially those children who have experienced trauma or have specialized needs. So we mobilize loving individuals throughout the state, like you, to be there for children and help us reunite families. Thank you for taking the first step to fostering and becoming a licensed caregiver. Thank you for being here. We hope this brief presentation answers many of your questions about foster care and prepares you to take the next step. Every day, CT Fosters works to mobilize and license individuals who can provide children with a supportive, accepting environment. Your role as a licensed caregiver is to be a caring presence for children until they can be reunited with their families. You work with CT Fosters and the parents to preserve families and support happy, thriving children. Children entering foster care can vary in age, race, religion, hometown, and gender. Like most children, they are curious and kind-hearted. They're strong and resilient. They're vulnerable and need to feel loved, understood, and accepted. But unlike most, they've experienced a trauma of separation they may not even understand, cognitively or emotionally. At a young age, their lives have been turned upside down. And as a result, many have difficulty managing their emotional and physical responses. Certified caregivers are most needed for older children and teens, children with complex medical needs or developmental needs like autism, sibling groups, and newborns to four-year-olds. Fostering and adopting are not the same. Fostering is providing a temporary, supportive environment for children who are separated from their own families. It also involves being an ally to the child's parents and relatives. Though temporary, a child in care becomes a part of your family. Foster care is different than adoption because you are caring for a child for a limited amount of time. For example, until they return to a parent, another family member, or family friend. Typically, they maintain contact with their family. The ultimate goal is to always reunite them permanently. Fostering can sometimes lead to adoption, but it is not the norm. Adoption means you become the legal parent of the child and have the same rights and responsibilities as a birth parent. Adoption is permanent. Licensed caregivers are as diverse as the children. Here are the basic requirements. You must be a Connecticut resident and at least 21 years old. You must have a steady income. You must be in good physical and emotional health. You must have a home you own or rent, and you must pass a background check. There are, however, no requirements regarding your gender, sexual identity, marital status, neighborhood, occupation, or previous experience. Because the responsibility is so great, the process to become a licensed caregiver is comprehensive. The first step, you've already done. You reached out. Congratulations. For many, that's the hardest part. You should continue on. You'll attend an information session and learn even more. After that is a home visit. A CT Foster's representative will schedule a time to come to your home to make sure it meets physical and safety requirements. This is also an opportunity to speak one-on-one -on -one so you can get more answers, especially about things you might not want to talk about in a group setting. After the home visit, it's time to start pre-licensing training. Alongside other future licensed caregivers, you'll participate in an in-depth education program. The sessions cover topics such as child development, co-parenting, trauma, culture, identity, and available resources. During this time, we'll conduct background checks before completing pre-licensing training. Becoming a licensed caregiver is a detailed process, and you are asked to provide a great deal of information. The goal is not to be intrusive, but comprehensive, to ensure the safety of children and set you up for success as a caregiver. Once licensed, you are ready to welcome a child into your home and begin building a relationship with them, their parents, and extended family. 
Remember, you're never on your own. There's an ongoing support from CT Fosters and your peers. Post-licensed training is required so you can keep updated on the latest research and build your knowledge. Most licensed caregivers are surprised to learn just how much support is available from the department. Every licensed caregiver is connected to a foster care support worker who's always there to provide guidance and answer questions. The children are also covered with Husky for their health needs. There's a significant support for your personal wellness, including peer support groups, shared family activities and events, and ongoing assistance from state resources like CAFAF, the Connecticut Alliance of Foster and Adoptive Families. Many licensed caregivers form close relationships with each other, creating a wonderful community that looks out for each other and steps in to help when needed. Being a licensed caregiver is an experience filled with great rewards and great challenges. But remember, you are never on your own. Throughout the whole process, you are wrapped in support from trainers, support social workers, and fellow caregivers. Our goal is to do whatever it takes to ensure your success so all children receive quality care so they can thrive and ultimately be reunited with their loving families. We hope this answered many of your questions and we hope you continue the journey to fostering. The children and their families need someone like you more than you can imagine. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.